Netanyahu was meeting with our Prime Minister Stephen Harper before heading home to deal with the crisis. And let's hear what Benjamin Netanyahu had to say. Uh, I uh, very much appreciate the invitation by uh, Prime Minister Harper to visit Canada. Uh, we have a very important relationship between Israel and Canada. We're, uh, we're going to discuss uh, some of the aspects of this relationship. We already have, and uh, in the time available, we'll, we'll continue as best as we can. But as Prime Minister Harper said correctly, we are... Um, uh, in the middle of uh, unfolding events uh, as a result of uh, what happened yesterday. Uh, I explained to uh, the Prime Minister that I would have to cut my visit short and go back to Israel. I just had a conversation with uh, President Obama and I, I told him that I would uh, uh, have to go back to Israel. We both agreed that we'd have very close consultations right now. Uh, and uh, try to reschedule our meeting to uh, uh, the earliest date possible. Uh, I think both uh, Prime Minister Harper and uh, President Obama uh, understand that Israel has a great security problem, uh, and I want to put that into context. Uh, the context is that uh, Gaza has become a base for Hamas terrorists backed by Iran, from which they fired thousands of rockets into Israel. They're amassing thousands more rockets to fire at our cities, at our towns, at our children. Our policy is this. We try to let in all humanitarian goods into Gaza, all uh, peaceful commodities, food, medicine, and the like. What we want to prevent coming into Gaza are rockets, missiles, explosives, and war material that could be used to attack our civilians. This is uh, an ongoing policy, and it was the one that guided our action yesterday. We told the flotilla of ships, we said, you can take all your cargo, put it in our port of Ashdod, we'll just ferret out if there are any war materials, and the rest will go through. We succeeded doing this peacefully with five of the six ships. The sixth ship, the largest, which had hundreds of people on it, uh, not only did not cooperate in this effort, peacefully. Uh, they deliberately attacked the first soldiers who came on the ship. They were mobbed. They were clubbed. They were uh, beaten, uh, stabbed. There was even a report of uh, uh, gunfire. And our soldiers had to defend themselves, defend their lives, or they would have been killed. And regrettably, in this exchange, uh, at least 10 uh, people died. Uh, we regret this loss of life. Uh, we regret uh, uh, any of the violence that was there. Uh, we would like, I would like to wish speedy recovery to the wounded, including four of our own uh, soldiers. Uh, our policy was and will continue to be that Israel would let uh, humanitarian aid, uh, any kind of goods that are meant for peace, to the civilian population of Gaza. We have no quarrel with the people of Gaza, we do have uh, a conflict with the terrorist regime of Hamas supported by Iran. We want to uh, maintain a situation where we prevent weapons and war material from coming into Gaza and allow humanitarian aid to go uh, to the population of Gaza. That is uh, a difficult task. Uh, we'll be uh, talking to our friends in Canada and the United States and all the governments, and let them have the available information as uh, we uncover it. Thank you very much.